Do you want to know how to use all those fancy APIs that pro DMs are using on Roll20? This video will detail top 5 APIs that I use, how to install them, and how to use them. Hi guys, Seb here. Today we're going to be taking a look at 5 useful APIs that I use for my Roll20 game. Please note that these APIs are not ranked in any particular order. Also, I'll be making another video with 5 more APIs that I use next week. So please hit that subscribe button if you want to catch that. It also helped me out tremendously so I can keep making more videos like this. Okay, enough of my shameless self-promotion. Let's get into it. Number 1. Group Initiative Group Initiative is an awesome API that will save many precious hours of playtime over the life of a campaign. It allows you to select an entire group of tokens, party members, and enemies alike, and it will roll initiative for every creature and place them in the turn order. This is particularly great for short-lived encounters that might have you spending more time sorting out initiative than kicking monsters' asses. I know rolling initiative is also a fun part of D&D for the players, so you might want to consider only rolling for monsters and having the players still roll their own initiative like normal. Please note that this API does not roll from your initiative bonus from default, so you will need to input a couple of small macros into the chat box after installing the API before using the API. You can find these macros in the description below. Number two is group check. While we're talking about group APIs, we might as well introduce group check. Ever had a party member fireball a group of 10 bugbears and then proceed to have the party listen to you mumble to yourself for the next five minutes about making saving throws, this one takes half damage, this one takes no damage, this one had cover, well, mumble no more. With this API, you're able to select a group of tokens and have them all roll their saving throws at once with the click of a button. This API also requires a macro to use and you can find the macro in the description below. With a few simple clicks, you can turn 10 minutes of complex mathematical equations into a breeze. Of course, it's great to have 10 saving throws rolled within 10 seconds, but what about sorting out the damage after that? Another tedious task for sure. Don't worry fellow adventurers and dungeon masters, this next API has got you covered. Number three, apply damage. This is a really simple one and works with group check. After rolling multiple saving throws, what if you could then click a single button and it will apply the damage to all of the tokens? Well, I'm sure you've already figured out what this API does. Simply install the API and voila! Please note that this API only works with the aforementioned group check API. Number four, concentration. This is a personal favorite of mine and I want to send a special shout out to Robin Cooper for taking my feedback and developing this amazing API. Ever forget to roll concentration saves? Tired of stopping the flow of combat as you wait for someone to make a constitution saving throw every time they take damage? Well, this API is gonna take a load off of your players and also you as a DM because it will automatically roll your constitution saving throws when you take damage. All you need to do is install the API and assign a token marker for concentration. The default marker is the little clock icon, but I like to use the yellow dot personally. Even better, it will take off the concentration marker if you lose concentration, and it even has support for the Warcaster feat, which will roll your saving throw with advantage. Please note that this will not add a monster's proficiency bonus to the saving throw if they are proficient in constitution saves. Maybe this is another feature that could be added in the near future. And number five is good old 5th edition OGL by Roll20 Companion. An awkward name I know, but names don't usually make sense when you're talking in code anyway. This API should be essential for any campaign really. It adds some great features to your campaign such as ammo tracking, death saving throw tracking, and spell slot tracking. It even has a built-in long rest button, but it can be a bit tedious to use you need to do an exclamation mark and type in exactly your character's name as shown on your character sheet, and this is also case sensitive. If you want to see a better API that will, will provide a one-click long rest button for your party members, 
then make sure you are subscribed and check out part two of this video next week. Until then, thanks for watching and I hope this video enhances your Roll20 game so you can spend more time focusing on kicking monsters' asses and less time doing tedious mathematics exercises. If you have any questions about any of the APIs, how to install them, how to use them, or anything at all, please drop a comment below and I'll be happy to answer them as soon as I can. I'm Seb and I'll see you soon. Thank you.